I'm Greg Roberts, and I would like to open this up first just by saying thank you uh, from my heart uh, and from my company to all of you out there who are fighting the good fight with hardware. Uh, my last company was a hardware-software hybrid, uh, and I chose from then on to take the software path. Uh, <clears throat> and I'd like just for everyone to join me in a large round of applause for all the people working their butts off to build the hardware so that we have software pla platforms to build upon. So I'm going to start this out with a little story. Uh, and it starts with the video game company I had. Uh, and I was there uh, working very, very hard, long hours, and staring at a small glowing screen all day long. Uh, managing my projects, getting titles out, making sure the, the hardware was being produced. And I thought, my god, the interesting thing about the company was we were building physical video games. So like the Kinect and like the Wii, before those even came about, to get people to really to jump around uh, and to physically play games. So having that visualization of, of what I was doing, I, uh, <clears throat> within two years, sold the company and took a sabbatical and got my uh, yoga teacher certification and started being a performing acrobat. Uh, and that was a really good thing uh, to just kind of get out in the world. And part of what I did is uh, brought some of my yoga students outside and we visioned uh, what life would be like. And one of my students was a technologist. So we were in the Appalachian Mountains uh, just kind of dreaming up what we wanted to do with our lives. And I was kind of guiding him through this process. And so he drew this, drew a picture. This is a little more, um, more detailed than the picture he drew. Uh, but it was a line art of the mountains we were in. And then he made one simple addition to it. <clears throat> a search box. And he said, this is kind of my vision. This is what, what I see the world turning into. Well, two years later, Google came out with Glass and announced it at Google I.O. And it all kind of made sense. So <clears throat> fast forward two years uh, to 2012. And I formed a company with this gentleman. Uh, his name is Barg Upender. And we sat down to do just some visioning. And after a couple hours, we actually came back to this. And we were like, well, a search box. What else can we add to that? And we thought, well, what if we could actually add to that some way? We, we, when, we, when we surf the web, we bookmark our favorite products. We bookmark pages that we like or blogs that we read. But what do we do in the real world? Well, what if in the real world, we could actually bookmark our favorite people, places, and things? What if we could actually and effortlessly just say, ah, save this moment. This is a favorite. This makes me happy. And so that's what we set out to develop. <clears throat> and we have developed that uh, both on glass uh, and uh, for iOS. And so what I'm going to first do is add this to my favorite moments. Everybody say hello. You're being immortalized here. <laughs> And I'll show you a quick experience of how this works on glass. So what we do is we're in the world. And uh, this is my uh, girlfriend up in Marin County. We're hiking around. And I say, OK, glass, I really like this moment. I'm happy with it. Favoriteness. It immediately takes a picture of the moment. It asks me for a quick categorization. I say it's a person. And that's it. It's added to my database with a timestamp uh, and with all the metadata uh, that we can acquire. In the case of Glass, we have a GPS location, a timestamp, the accelerometer data, et cetera. So it has contextual information uh, about that moment. So what is Favestar? 
Favestar is a way of bookmarking real things in your real life. Allows you to effortlessly tag the people, places, events, and things that make you happy. And share them with your friends. And finally, find recommendations of similar taste. <clears throat> and to your question about what is the actual business here beyond just making people happy and increasing happiness, uh, we also identify products uh, and things that are in the stream and give immediate purchase links for those. <clears throat> so I next would like to show you how that all appears on the web. So this is actually, yeah, good. <clears throat> this is the web interface, that same data. Um, these are just some uh, favorites that I've marked today and some of my friends have marked. And then we can come into these and take a look at them. So <clears throat> this one, for instance, uh, is identified as a psychedelic furs concert and it reads those keywords and automatically links to Amazon with a purchase link uh, to the greatest hits. And we can obviously make this private if we like or share it with our friends or get a really nice full screen view. <clears throat> so I hope you all will give this app a try, uh, a spin. It's at favestar.com. And <clears throat> I hope it will help you bring more happiness into you and your lives uh, and the lives of your loved ones. And thank you very much. <clears throat>